We've got to create jobs. First of all, taxes. We ought to have an optional flat tax. So if you want to keep the current code, you want to keep the current mortgage deduction, you want to keep all that stuff, fine. But if you'd like a one-page alternative, it can be developed on a revenue-neutral basis. It's been experimented with in Rhode Island. It's been used in Europe. It gives you a choice. And you'll hear me talk a lot about your choices today. Second, uh, zero capital gains tax rate, so hundreds of billions of dollars pour in to develop America. 12.5% corporate tax rate, uh, so that we liberate the trillion, $200 billion overseas that is currently locked up in profits that won't come home. And ironically, for my liberal friends, I remind them, at 12.5%, we'll actually get General Electric to pay taxes, uh, because it'll be cheaper to pay taxes than to hire lawyers to avoid taxes. Uh, <laughs> 100% expensing for all new equipment, including farm equipment, factory equipment, office equipment. So with a specific goal, we want Americans to be the best equipped, most productive workers on the planet so we can compete with China and win. Finally, we abolish the death tax permanently. We want businesses that are successful focused on job creation, not focused on tax avoidance. That's a tax policy. Deregulation. Repeal Dodd-Frank immediately. And I would try to get that done in the first two or three weeks. It is a disastrous bill. It is 2,300 pages, which does to financial services what Obamacare does to health. And the fact is that it is killing small banks, it is killing small business, it is crippling housing, and it's creating a center of corruption at the Treasury, micromanaging the large banks. It is a terrible bill. Second, repeal Sarbanes-Oxley, a bill which raises the cost of doing business in America without producing any new information that's useful. Third, replace the Environmental Protection Agency with a brand new Environmental Solutions Agency that focuses on economic rationality, on cooperation with communities back home, and on modern science, and frankly, on common sense. I mean, the best example is right here in Iowa. Somebody in Washington who had never been on a farm has written a regulation involving, involving dust. Part of the regulation suggests that dirt roads should not create dust. <laughs> <coughs> You have, ask, just look at what Senator Grassley has been saying recently. You can't imagine an agency this out of touch with reality. And I don't think it's fixable, which is why I say replaced. And finally, as an example, I would, I would replace the current FDA with the 21st Century Food and Drug Administration, whose specific job is to be in the laboratory learning the science and accelerate getting new knowledge to the patient, not hinder it. Fundamentally the opposite of the current FDA. And the reason is simple. If you want to create jobs, Health is the largest section of the economy in the world. As people get wealthier, they want to live longer and live better. If the U.S. has an FDA which encourages the development of new solutions, we will dominate the world health market. If we dominate the world health market, those are very high value jobs that pay very well and produce a lot of capital for the United States. And it's, it's, the, lo it's the most logical area if you're trying to build a high employment, high income economy.